All right, so continuing on with inequalities. Uh, before we jump into the next step here, though, we're gonna uh, go back and remember we have a list of solutions. All we gotta do is pick which one works. So we gotta take it and take each one and put it in for t. So we're gonna add seven to whatever our t is. So seven plus five is twelve, which is bigger. That works. Three in there. Three plus seven is ten. That also works. Uh, t equals six. So six and seven would be thirteen which also works, which, because again, we're trying to be bigger than or equal to nine. Now two, seven plus two is nine, but remember that bar underneath means it could be equal or it could be bigger than, because again, we're pointing to the small number, eating the bigger one, so we need this side to be bigger. Two plus seven is nine, which is equal, so that works as well. Now we're gonna take it a step further. We're now gonna solve these out. So instead of having that um, Selection of options as your solution. We're gonna actually work it out and solve what it is now When you're working with inequalities, you're gonna work just like we did when we had equations you were working backwards So we do ops operation to cancel it out We do or of operations backwards. We start with add subtract then we go multiply divide the next ones then parentheses We work our way back up now the big difference here though if you multiply or divide by a negative, it will switch the sign. So if it was less than, it'll go to greater than, or if it was greater than, it'll go to less than. So if you multiply or divide by a negative, it'll flip the sign. So if we do our first one here, solve for n. So we have n plus 1 is less than 10. So when you get n by itself, so we're working backwards, so opposite of plus 1 would be to minus 1. So n would be less than, well, 10 minus 1 would be 9. And that would be your answer. Now, on IXL, this is all you got to do. Typically, though, when we're dealing with um, inequalities, we'll graph it on a number line as well. So all you have to do there, and I'm going to show you this just so you kind of have an idea of what to expect in the future when you're doing this. Again, IXL won't have you do it, but just so that you have an uh, example here. So we would have our 9 in the middle. Because it's less than, it's an open circle. And then we shade the way it goes. If it was less than or equal to, then it's going to be a closed circle. But we always want to have the letter on the left, and then we're going to shade the way that it points. So, just less than, open circle. If it was less than or equal to, it would be a closed circle. So here being less than, we're an open circle. Okay. R plus 7 is less than negative 2. So again, subtract the 7 to cancel it. So r is less than or equal to, now negative 2 minus 7 is just like we have two negatives here. Negative 2 and negative 7 make negative 9. So remember, same sign, just add them together. And then they're going to be that sign. So r less than or equal to negative 9. This is what I'm needing for IXL. Now, you won't always have to graph these, like IXL doesn't have you this time, but in the future know that you may have to do this. So keep that in mind, just so you're aware of it. Um, and you're... You're exposed to it a little bit. Uh, these here. So first, we're going to opposite of plus 20 or a negative. We have negative 48 less than or equal to n minus 29. So opposite of minus is to add 29. Now, remember, when they're different signs, we actually subtract them. So we would get 19, but the bigger one was negative. So our answer will be negative and we're less than or equal to n. Now, this can be fine how it's written, but typically we write it where the letter is on the left side. So if we switch order our n and our negative 19, so our lever's on the left, we have to switch this around too because the bigger side is the n and it's pointing to the 19, negative 19, so that has to be the smaller side. So the sign will switch too if you switch the order. Okay. So when we go from having the letter on the right, to have the letter on the left, we switch our order, which means we also switch the sign as well. Sorry about that. I was trying to get this done before the bell rang. Uh, solve for s, negative 6s is greater than 6.78. Now, remember, anytime you have a number and a letter, that means multiply. So we're going to divide by negative 6. So this may cancel over here, so we have s, but because it was dividing by a negative, this sign will switch from a greater than to a less than sign. Now, if we divide this in, we're gonna have a positive divided by a negative, which makes it a negative, but six goes into six once, six goes into seven once, and then we have 18, which would be three, and that's our answer. So 
That's it for this lesson. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, remember, you can always pan me, email me, or send me a message on Google Classroom. Um, otherwise, until next time, we'll talk to you later.